I've got people right now scratching their head like this, fam. Thinking, why is this you got this and got that? And I'm 50, 55 years old, and I haven't got this, and I haven't got that. It's because they have no fucking work ethic, my brother. They believe in going on holidays, taking time off to enjoy themselves. Work-life balance nonsense crap, blood. I don't believe in none of that bullshit, fam. All I do is work. I don't take time off work, blood. Been on this contract up in Northampton for about two, two and a half years. I've only taken off about two days off work, blood. The first time, I had something important to do. I had to take the whole day off work. I was forced to take the whole day off work. If I could have got away with it, I would have taken off half day and then worked the other half. The next occasion, I was having these dizzy spells. I don't even know what was wrong with me. I think I might have had what they call vertigo or something similar to that where you feel like the whole world is spinning and that. Um, I felt like when I was walking around in people's yards, I felt like I was going to fall over or at least buckle on that. Never did really. Funny enough... In between that time, before that time, I was going running every other day and uh, doing my sprints. Never fell over, never buckled, never stumbled. But just when walking around and that, I felt a bit dizzy and that. Obviously, it was like a Tuesday where I thought that was enough. But up prior to that, obviously, this had been happening every other day for two weeks. It was one particular Tuesday. I just found out my coordinates and said, like, enough's enough. I'm having these dizzy spells and uh, I'm gonna, I actually went to the hospital just to see what I was going on and put myself into A&E. Um, yeah, took off the following day, which was a Wednesday, and maybe the next day after that, which was a Thursday, I was back to work on Friday. You see, when you're self-employed, man, you don't get sick, blood. And when you do, you limit your sick days, blood. You see, when you're self-employed, man, your body produces its own natural antibiotics, blood. You gotta go to work, fam. If you don't work, you don't get paid, innit, yeah? So you condition your body to work even when your body is sick, even when your body's under stress, you condition yourself to work, blood. So many times, fam, I have the cold or I have a light flu, whatever, something. Man's even gone into work with the ting, blood. The CV, fam, 19. You understand what I'm trying to say? Isn't it? Didn't give a fuck, blood. Still going into work, blood. Like I said, when man don't work, man don't get paid, innit, yeah? So man's sick days are very, very limited, my brother, innit? Anyway... Went to some woman's house the other day, black woman, innit? And I can't remember what we was talking about. I think she must have asked me, oh, what are you doing living up here? Now? Oh, she said to me, oh, you got a London accent now, where you from, innit? So I told her, she said, why you move up here? And I told her, obviously, house prices are cheaper and that, innit? And she, she made a comment, innit? And I said, you know, I've actually got three properties in total. And she looked at me like puzzled, innit? Anyway. I must have mentioned something about not taking time off work or I told her I was a workaholic and that and she was telling me, oh, you know, you need to take time off work and that and, you know, enjoy yourself and that. And I'm thinking, the reason why you're 50, 55 years old living in a council house is because you believe in this work-life balance. It's because you believe in taking time off work and enjoying yourself, blood. That's why you're broke, blood. Fam, the only way you're going to become successful, my brother, watching this right now, yeah, is if you dedicate like 90, 95% of your time to your craft, blood. Whatever it is, it could be a YouTube channel, it could be work as an electrician, it could be building up a business. Blood, you're not going to be able to have, oh, yeah, I'm going to take off three weeks all the time and when I get sick, blood, you've got to be dedicated to this thing, fam. It's no coincidence why I got what I got, fam. It's the mentality, blood. It's the work ethic that gets you to where I am, fam. I'm not saying man's at some mad high level with that, but trust me, man's outshined the people them that are double my age, if not got 20 years on me, because of the work ethic, blood. The last five years, I've gone into work every day on my birthday. Apart from the COVID year, because I weren't working. Other than that, the last five years, I've gone into work every day on my birthday, blood. It's August the 28th. Monday, bank holiday Monday today, carnival day today, blood. If, if I could have gone into work today, I would have went into work, fam. Yeah, man, I appreciate that little one day off and that, but I don't get paid, fam. So I don't went into work today, blood. 21st of September next month, that's my birthday, I'm going into work, fam. I believe it's during the week. It's a weekday, Monday to Friday, innit? I believe it is, innit? I ain't even checked. I don't even care, fam. I don't even care, blood. I don't give a shit about my birthday, blood. 
I'm going to put myself in a position where I'm so successful every day is my fucking birthday. So you know what? For 10 years straight, I might have to miss out on birthdays. Oh, well, get out of the violence. I don't care, blood. You see, normal people, broke people, I'm not saying rich people don't do this, isn't it? Yeah, but broke people, they have to take off this one day. It's the only day they get to feel good about themselves, blood. Why do you think people are so desperate to go on holidays, blood? It's because they're trying to escape their reality, blood. I love my life. I love everything about my life, blood. I don't live no extravagant, um, amazing life. But, blood, man's super comfortable on that. I don't have no stresses in it. So I don't feel like I need to go and explore the world. I've been to different countries. I don't really give a fuck. Man Jamaican. I love being Jamaican, yeah. But I don't really particularly like going to Jamaica and that. I've been to a couple different European countries. I've been to Dubai and that. They don't interest me, fam. I enjoy my life, I enjoy my reality that I created for my soul. So every day feels like a sly holiday, if you get what I'm trying to say. When I go to work, because I enjoy the work that I do, I don't even feel like I'm at work. I don't feel like, oh, go, go to work tomorrow. No, I don't feel like that, blood. The only thing I do feel like is, oh, I've got to go running tomorrow. But I'm actually going to do it after this, this quick little video I'm making, innit? But um, literally... The reason why people are not in the position that they want to be in is because they haven't developed a strong work ethic, blood. I, I, I cannot imagine someone who has a strong work ethic, who is willing to do 50, 60 hours a day and still be broke and still not have the things that they want unless they're fucking stupid, unless they literally work overtime and, and just blow all their money. But you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't put in all this sacrifice and effort to then go and waste it, blood. Older people get on my nerves. They think because they're older, they think they know more than you, blood. You've just lived longer on this planet and made more mistakes, blood. But that doesn't necessarily mean you know more. Yeah, you know so much because you fucked up so much, blood. Helicopter above, blood. Come distract my video. But, like I know someone, they've been depressed for like 20, 30 years and that. And they tried to tell me, oh, why would you want to leave home to Harringay? It's a good cushy job. Blood, what are you talking about, blood? If I never left home to Harringay, I would still be on 130, 150 pound a day. But I wouldn't get out of my bed for that kind of money right now, fam. Man's on double, blood. If I was still at home to Harringay, yeah, I would have my property in Northampton. Because right now I'm in Edmund, or on, on my estate. I would have my property in Northampton if I worked at home to Harringay. But, blood, man would not be in a process of trying to buy a fourth and a fifth property, blood. Older the people, they think they know, fam. And they, they, most of them really don't. Most of them really don't. The older people you got around you, just watch them and watch their mistakes that they made and that. Trust me, man used to pay attention when I used to talk to older man at Holmes Harringay. I remember there was a guy called Uncle Mick. He told me about, well, I used to call him Uncle Mick. Big man, black man. He told me about how his, his older brother uh, got cleaned out two, three times by women. And I said, yep, this is why I'm not getting married. Now, obviously, after that, I did have the idea to get married and that. But, yeah, a man's not going through with that plan. Yeah, trust me, maybe maybe I was drunk, although I've never drank alcohol, you understand what I'm trying to say. I ain't getting cleaned up by no fucking woman, because there's certain men out here think, oh, because they got a prenup tonight. Blood, there's ways around the prenup. There's ways around the prenup. And the prenup's only good if you really have shit before you went into it. There's certain men that feel like they, they can get a prenup tonight, and that's going to protect them. Blood, prenup only protects what you had beforehand. If you had nothing beforehand, then when you get with this girl and you get married and then you accumulate your wealth, well, guess what? She's entitled to half of that. So what's the fucking difference, blood? Why does it matter if you get a prenup, blood? What are you protecting? Your Balmain collection, your little idiot two grand Rolex watch. What are you protecting really and truly? You're protecting nothing, blood. So, um, yeah, man. The reason why I got what I got, the reason why you will have what you will have is when you develop a work ethic. You need to develop a strong work ethic. Like, I'm not saying you have to be a madman like me and going to work on your birthdays and never take a holiday and that. But believing in, oh, I need to have a work-life balance and that. Bruv, you need to develop, you need to have put 95% into your ting blood yeah, to build it up. And that's it, fam. People are scared to, to lose five years of their life working, blood. You're not in jail, blood. You can still enjoy a little bit of yourself on the weekend and that. Temporarily, yeah, little, yeah. You're not going to jail, blood. It's, it's, it's not that bad, man. But me, I'm willing to, to dedicate and sacrifice 10 years of my life to get to where I need to get to. So that when man's 40 years old or whatever, man can retire, blood. Literally, the way I'm going, I can retire at the age of 40, fam. I could build up enough, a big enough portfolio to retire by the age of 40, fam. 
I'd rather do that. I'd rather, I'd rather lose 10 years of my life during my youth. As long as obviously I'm still on road, I'm not in jail. I'd rather lose 10 years of my life in my youth so that I can retire at the age of 40 and relax for the next 20, 30 years, blood. Instead of, oh yeah, enjoying yourself every weekend and that, every day enjoying yourself and that, or going on all these holidays and enjoying yourself and that, but you're working till you're 65, blood. The people them who I do those reaction videos about who are 60, 65, 70 years old, who are struggling in their yard, living in their yard, they're in a conundrum between heating or eating. It's either they heat their homes and stay in a warm home and starve, or they have a full belly and they sit in a freezing cold yard. They're in some mad conundrums and that. It's because they didn't put in a fucking effort, fam. They weren't like me, fam. They weren't investing in properties, blood, from a young age, fam. None of those people, none of them, find me a fucking person who has sitting on 10 properties who's struggling to heat or eat. Find me a person, I'll fucking delete my whole YouTube channel. It is impossible, blood. It's impossible. There's no one out here, yeah, who's fucking putting mad effort, made sacrifice for 10 years and that, got all these properties and that, all these big fr uh, business that's thriving and, and, and that, all these mad properties and that, who's fucking struggling in their house. The people them are struggling, the people them who are living in mediocre reality, blood. Just living there every day as it comes. Working Monday to Friday and then going blowing their money in the pub or the club. Or on this stupid ass drip, blood. It's impossible. It's impossible. Anyway, stay tuned for the next few years and I'll show you, yeah, the power of work ethic and I'll show you the power of sacrifice, innit? But um, literally today is bank holiday Monday, it's carnival day today. I would have gladly have gone into work if there was work. The only time man look forward to bank holidays is when I've got a property ongoing that I'm doing like a little renovation to, innit? So soon man will get a new property soon and I will look forward to the bank holidays because now I've got the Friday that I can work, the Saturday, the Sunday, and the Monday that I can work in it. So, yeah. Literally, man, you got to develop that strong work ethic, man. It will carry you. It will carry you, blood. I remember the last Christmas that just went, 2022 Christmas. I remember I completed on this property and that. And obviously, it's Christmas break and that. I remember Christmas Day, I left my mum's yard because I said, oh, yeah, I'll probably go back home on the day after Boxing Day. I left my mum's yard Christmas Day to go back up to Northampton because I had a kitchen, my kitchen, that needed renovating and that. And I had a flat that needed renovating. I think, nah, I cannot sit down and relax and chill knowing that there's work to be done. So I left. So I left. Most people, most normal people, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. It's only, what's, what's two, three days and that? Fam, it's not about the two, three days. It's the mindset, blood. It's the mindset, blood. I go to work. When I come back from work, I'll make like two, three videos. Not every day. But when I come back from work a certain day, my mum will make two, three videos, fam. Consistently. Why do you think, yeah, over August and that, man's been releasing videos like every day, fam. Because I've got so much videos. I've got videos booked up until like April of 2025. Blood, I've got about 20 videos that are not even scheduled. So the videos that I got booked up until April 2025, they're scheduled. I've got like 20 videos that are not scheduled, blood. I'm thinking, nah, there's no point in me even waiting, fam, to, to uh, release those videos later on in the next couple years and that. That's why I've been releasing videos every day because I've got too much videos because the work ethic is nuts, blood. You need to up your work ethic, fam. What you put in is what you get out. So if you put in mediocrity, you will get out mediocrity. If you put in high level work, you'll get out high level results, blood. And that's it for today, man. You lot going carnival, enjoy your carnival, stay safe, stay worse, tunnel.